wrestled in a match. He ran out of the gym crying. Well, he's not running now, and he's not crying. This is Brandon Slay out of Amarillo, Texas. He's set to wrestle in the finals at 167 pounds. He was 1-22 in in his first year of wrestling, and that win was a forfeit. He is going against Alexander Leipold of Germany here in the blue singlet. Leipold, this is his fourth Olympic Games. He's got a medal. He's going to try to make it gold. Brandon Slay has never medaled before in major international competition. This should be a good one. Russ, I had a chance to talk with Brandon Slay, and he told me he believes in fate on the mat. And to many an observer, they felt he needed a miracle just to get out of his pool. He drew Saitiev of Russia, the defending Olympic champion, two-time world champion. And with a takedown in overtime, he beat the Russian star 4-3. to three. There will be no larger upset in this entire freestyle competition than Slay's victory there. In the quarterfinals, he faced Laliyev of Kazakhstan. The match ended in overtime, 2-2 two to two tied. There was no criteria to determine a winner. The referees made a decision and gave the victory to Slay. Slay is the first native-born Texan to make a USA wrestling team. Freestyle wrestling, two three-minute periods, and right now we have no score. Brandon Slay is normally a very fast starter. He likes a double leg takedown. He's got solid defense on his feet. He's tough to score on, tough to shoot on. Very powerful. And we have seen him get into matches very early in early round matches, but right now a little bit more cautious. And there we have a passivity call against Leipold. There's his grandmother, Mima, Dorothy Slay. What devotion these two share for each other. It's unbelievable. His parents divorced at a young age, and he, he lived with her through elementary school. She provided for him selflessly. One of Dorothy's friends cautioned her about the amount of income and retirement she was spending on Brandon, and she said, he's my little IRA. <laughs> Almost halfway through the first period, we still have no score. Brandon Slay on top in the parterre position because of the passivity, but he's not getting the job done here. Attempting a gut wrench. Has his hands locked around the torso of Leipold, but unable to rotate the hips. You need to rotate the hips to rotate the shoulders. They return to the standing position. Slay describes his own style as a combination of Brian Dolph, his coach at University of Pennsylvania and training partner, who he also ironically happened to beat in the finals of the Olympic trials to make the team, and of course, Kevin Jackson. USA Wrestling's developmental coach and 1992 Olympic champion. They're at the two-minute mark, and we still don't have a score. This match for the gold medal at 76 kilograms, 167 pounds. And we will have a caution now against Slay. Leipold will get an opportunity to go into the top position and see if he can work a turn. I like what Slade did there, took a little walk, gathered himself up, focused on what he needs to do, and that's defense. Leipold gave it away there a little bit. He's going to try to put a leg in. They're wrestling. Referee blew the whistle. Leipold, as a five-time world medalist, along with his three Olympic appearances, he won the world in 1994, so he's a seasoned veteran here. Slay is going to have to wrestle an exceptional match, and he tries to come out in a reverse position, but Leipold backs out of it very quickly. No points. No escape point because there was no threatening hold, and Leipold tried to deceive Slay, kind of saying, whoa, 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 and then suddenly acted like he was going to take a shot. You always keep wrestling unless you hear the referee's whistle. Front headlock now by Slay. Wants to pull him forward. Snap him down and try to turn the corner, but releases the lock. Well, time is going to run out here in the first period. At the three-minute mark, we go to a break, and there it is. No score in the first period. Well, we are back at Freestyle Wrestling, 167 pounds, the gold medal match, and right now it is tied 0-0. Action in the first period. Slay on the bottom. Leipold. Relaxing on top, Slay took full advantage, comes out from the bottom, seizes the leg. Thought he might go for a takedown there. A little acting job by Leipold. Said stay away and then feigned a shot. But they will start in the clinch position. There's the toss of the coin. It was blue. 
Leipold will have to take the lock, and if he can't get a point on the board, Russ, in a minute, he will receive a one-point penalty and be cautioned. This rule was put in so that a wrestler would have to at least score one point in a match. Oh, Slay having... needs, yeah, Slay needs to stand chest to chest. False he keeps starting. backing out. Yeah, false starting. They're going to hit him with a caution. Oh, the, That'll be two points. That's going to be a two-point caution against the American. And he's going to be probably put down by Leipold, but two points is huge. 0-0 zero, zero was the score. It is now 2-0 in favor of the German, and Slay will be put down. Well, a double whammy here, but those two points are huge. Kevin Jackson on the right, Bruce Barnett, national coach. They're upset about the call. Well, Russ, we've seen Kerry Collat earlier in the competition intentionally break his hands right off the start of the clinch, and now Slay having problems even getting into the clinch, and it really appears the Americans are not comfortable with that position. Well, this two-point situation could haunt him later on. A penalty of this magnitude in this oh, caliber boy. of wrestling. And now he's going to get called again for something with the hand. I think he was grabbing the fingers of Leipold. Normally a referee will come in and slap the hand if their hands are intertwined. Here he comes right out and hits him with a caution. It's now three to nothing. This match can now end in regulation. Well, he got confirmation, disbelief by the coaches as well, but nonetheless, he is down three to nothing right now. We're only 30 seconds into the second period. We came into a tied 0-0. Really hasn't been any wrestling technique. And Leipold of Germany is ahead three to nothing. We saw the clinch position fall started several times in Greco-Roman. They're consistent with the call. It's a two-point penalty and a caution. But I haven't seen too much hand grabbing resulting in a caution and a point. That's a tough break for the American. Leipold now enjoying a 3-0 lead. He can really shut down. He doesn't have to do any offense. He hasn't scored a technical point here. These are all penalty points. He's in on a single leg, but oh, goes out of bounds. If he would have driven Leipold out of bounds, he could have gotten his own point and a caution, but Leipold very savvy here. He's an experienced man at this level of competition. And it doesn't result in any points. They're back to the center. Just under two minutes remaining in the second and final period. Well, the one thing you don't want to do is beat yourself. And will these mistakes by Brandon Slay cost him a gold medal? He needs to get his offense on track. Get that double leg going. If he can get a double leg and put Leipold right on his back, he can get back in this match. But Leipold doing a nice job of fending off. Action goes out of bounds. They'll return to the center in the standing position. Well, this is a real advantage because of the penalties for Leipold of Germany because he has that magical three points. This match will end at six minutes, the end of this period, unless Brandon Slay can score three or more points. He's got to at least tie it up or it will be over, and Leipold can defend and protect and win this match. Mistakes always the difference in big matches. He's back on the single leg, but a nice counter there by Leipold. Leipold threatened the tilt there, threatened the throw. Slay released the grip on the legs to prevent from being thrown. Now he has to worry about getting taken down again. He'll hang on to Leipold's leg. Leipold content to stay here. Oh, oh he's going to work gonna... it into a takedown. Well, time is not in his favor either. We're under a minute and another point. The first technical point right now for Lipo, but he's ahead four to nothing with 45 seconds to go. Lipo won't take any risk here. He'll continue to work on top, but not take any risk, just trying to kill time. It's a smart tactic. Slay needs that stand-up of his. And the referee finally blows the whistle. They'll return to the standing position. Well, Mima is concerned as our... The USA coaches, he is down four points, and those are big points at this juncture in the match. 25 seconds to go. He's got to hit a big move, a big scoring move, or he has no chance of getting into this match. The Germans sensing the victory. 15 seconds. He needs to go for a throw. He needs to tie up upper body and just give it everything he has. Leipold putting a number one in the air, sensing victory, and that's going to do it. That will be it. Alexander Leipold will win the gold medal. 
Well, Dorothy Slay has to be disappointed, but she still applauds the victor. Leipold, the winner, the gold medal.